Hello and welcome to a video on fiber mesh presets. In this video I want to cover how the grass and the flowers were made for the scene using ZBrush presets for fiber mesh. Let's start by turning everything off but our ground. I'm also going to turn off my color information for the ground and drop it to the lowest subdivision level. As you can see here it has 7. So I'm going to drop that to level 1. I'm going to drop this to level 1 because I want to use masking to control where my grass is growing and because I'm on a lower level when I blur my mask I'm gonna have a very strong transition from no mask to lighter mask. As you can see here as I blur the mask there is a very strong change and then I can pick and choose where to be more grass or less grass. So it's really a great way to control how I want my grass to grow. The advantage to this is where there is less of a mass will have shorter and smaller grass blades where there is more of a mass will have more grass blades. So let's open up Lightbox and in our fiber menu we have some presets. Let's scroll all the way to the right and grab the grass that was used for that scene. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this grass. You're going to see the little green spots that are showing up. Now this plane is a rather large plane so what I'm going to need to do so we can really see our grass it just come into here into our fiber mesh presets and start making them be a little bit longer. And you can see as I make them longer there's more grass growing. And you'll also take note where there is less masking there is less of grass blades and also you can see they're a lot smaller. So we can add some more or take some more away. It creates a really quick way to create some grass. Let's go ahead and accept those and let's make the flowers. So in our subtool palette, because I've accepted those, the grass is put right below my ground plane. Let's go back into our light box and grab the flowers. Now with the grass selected, I want the flowers to grow on the grass. So here's my preset for my flowers. I'm going to go ahead and double click those and go into my fiber mesh sub palette. And let's up the coverage just a bit so you can start seeing the flowers coming in. We'll probably put less flowers and then change our coverage. And you can see how quickly we can make a scene with grass with flowers. Once I've accepted that, we want to now put the tall grass in. So let's go ahead and again open up our light box and scroll all the way to the right in the light box and you'll see a preset for tall weeds. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and come into our fiber mesh and start changing the length of that. So we get taller grass with our scene. You can see how easy with just a couple presets that we can create some really interesting vegetation and grass. And that's how we created the grass for that scene. Thank you for watching this video. Please continue to watch more on Pixelogic.com.